Hi everybody! Welcome to the 73rd edition of John News. My name is John Woodman and I'm coming to you from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And now the news. Let's get right to the good news. Ken Gall is a professor at Duke University. He and his research team is freely putting to make bones and other body parts for people with serious injuries. Hi Dr. Gall, thanks for inviting me to your lab. Welcome to John News. Hi, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to show you about what we do here. Tell me about 3D printing. How does it work? So 3D printing is a process where you can create parts using a three-dimensional machine. This machine builds parts layer by layer and we can build everything from plastics to titanium. I know that people can get broken limbs fixed because of what you do here. How does that work? That's a good question. So when someone has a very bad damage to one of their bones, we fix it by reprinting their bone in titanium. Tell me a, bit, a little bit about your facility here. So this is a complete facility. We actually start all the way from the basic powder and basic materials, and we build final parts. I think the best thing to see is one of the actual printers. I'll show you that. Come through this way. So this is one of the titanium printers. So this printer is printing titanium from a basic powder. And what happens is that laser that you can see in there, it melts the titanium powder and so that you can actually cure each individual layer and, and into a melted layer of titanium. Mm -hmm. Titanium is very explosive, so this entire printer is bomb is like a bomb-proof shelter. Yeah. So it actually holds all the powder, and then when the laser hits the powder, it melts it right there, and instead of exploding, it makes a part. Mm -hmm. So if we were building your entire leg, it would probably take us four days. If we were building just a small bone in your hand, it might just take us uh, five hours. What kind of body parts do you make? Uh, we make all kinds of different parts. We make we help rebuild people's feet when they have injuries. We've rebuilt people's femurs, their hips, and their shoulders. I think it's really cool that you can help people who are hurt. Yeah, it's a really good thing to be able to do. I think that really helps motivate us to do the things we're doing because we can actually see the patients that we help impact and, and change their lives. Uh -huh. This is Desmond. He's going to tell you more about what yep. he does. Hi John, I am using to inspect the parts that we have here for the tailors and this I am inspecting it on the profamometer. This is what this teller says that has been polished and I'm getting ready to inspect it to make sure that it's smooth. A talus is the bone between your heel, which is called your calcaneus, and your tibia, which is your long bone here. And it joins those two together and it moves within those two bones. And so it has to be polished because when it's moving, it has to slide mm -hmm. on that tape. Now we're in the design facility. The other facility makes the parts. This is where we design the parts. Mm -hmm. This is a talus that you saw before that was being made. This is one of the final versions. Mm -hmm. This is a full build plate. So this contains a whole bunch of different parts. It's very heavy, so if you want to try and pick that end up, it's hard to move. Yep, you got it. Oh, you got it. Very strong. Um, so this thing's very heavy. All the parts are built on this very large tray, and the reason is this has to be heated up in an oven and cooked effectively. And the parts, you don't want the parts to bend or fall off. Yep, that would be really bad. That would, yeah. You'd have, a, you'd have an issue with the parts wouldn't be shaped the way you want them to be shaped for the body. That's a replacement for someone's tibia. That's a replacement for a talus. That's a spinal fusion cage. That is the osteotomy wedge. That's a screw to reattach tendons. That is a pin or a screw for reattachment of little bones. These are correction osteotomy wedges for flat foot. And that's a cervical spinal fusion cage. So you can make all these things at once. Ooh, you found the one little special. That is an, that's actually an osteotomy pin. So this is used to fix two really small bones if they're detached. And you can feel how sharp it is. But just be careful, it's very sharp. It was printed that sharp. Um, as a young boy, I was interested in science. Mm -hmm. And then I started working, I really liked physics and the forces and how things acted in the physical world. And then I became a mechanical engineer. And then that, combined with my interest in athletics and human performance, got me into biomedical engineering. Uh-huh. Is there anything else you want to tell my viewers? 
It's a very exciting area. It's a lot of engineering, a lot of science combined into. So if your viewers are studying those things or looking into those, this is 3D printing is a really fascinating area to kind of blend science and engineering. This is very cool stuff. Thanks for being on John News. John, thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. And that's the good news. Until next time, this is John Whitman signing off from John News. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Do it now! If you do that, my dad says he'll buy me a dog. So do it now! Or sooner! So long everybody! Bye!